Republicans moving forward with legislation tonight that would force the White House to send military aid to Israel. This push comes after the Biden administration threatened to hold certain weapons transfers out of concern that Israel would invade a densely populated city of Gaza. Our D.C.'s Raquel Martin has the story. Siding with Hamas against Israel. Uh, we're, we're not going to let that happen. Republicans are teeing up a vote to try and stop the Biden administration from withholding military aid to Israel. Last week, the president confirmed his administration paused a bomb shipment to Israel over concerns its military would invade Rafah and threatened more holds if Israel proceeds. Cost of this d decision is dangerous. At a hearing Tuesday, Republican Congressman Michael McCall argued the president is turning his back on a U.S. ally. Israel is in a fight for its very existence against a terrorist organization. But Democratic Congressman Gregory Meeks, who opposes the bill, says the president is making a moral call. These 2,000 pound bombs in question can create a crater 50 feet wide and 36 feet deep when dropped. Such bombs have no place in urban combat. Not every Democrat is running to the president's defense. In a letter to the White House last week, 26 House Democrats said they were deeply concerned about weapons hold. There's different viewpoints uh, within our own caucus on this, um, but um, overwhelmingly, uh, House Democrats will reject this. The White House is already promising to veto the bill. Uh, this bill raises serious concerns. In Washington, Raquel Martin.